I don't know shit about Harvey. I don't know shit about Harvey either. And so today, that's why we're gonna marry the town's doctor. We're gonna go for our checkup with Harvey, and he's gonna check into our heart. Harvey makes that doctor bank. And I'm really sick of living in this tiny little rundown shack that I got for free. Hey, let us in, will ya? Oh, wait, this is the wrong house. <laughs> I forgot. That's Piers. All right, Harvey's shack is the little... Why is it attached to Piers? Harvey's shack is the tiny hospital that's next to the real moneymaker of the town, Pierre, apparently. He's into his, uh... He's into his coffee. Harvey does look like a man that would be way too into coffee. What else has he got? Pickles? I didn't realize there were so many pickles in this game. Did it say pickled potatoes? What, what are pickled potatoes? Evelyn, what are you doing in here? Oh, you get to be my age. You have to see the doctor more often. I break my bone every morning. Harvey's had our two hearts already. Wait, does that mean we can go into his room? Okay, you know what? I was I thought he have might have a bit more than a TV from 1964, you know what I mean? I thought he might have a little bit of something with his doctor salary, you know? Oh, it's two heart events. All right, George, I want you to take a deep breath for me, yeah? You just just turn around for me, please. George, I'll be honest with you. You need to make some changes to your lifestyle if you want to stay healthy. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, George. You better start listening to the doctor, George. You're not looking in the best shape. I'd like you to reduce your sodium intake and try to get some moderate exercise with your arms. Who do you think you are telling me how to live my life? <laughs> George is like, I've seen the videos on Facebook. I don't need that vaccine. Harvey. I'm your doctor, George. That's who I am. And I went to school for eight years so I could learn how to help people stay healthy. I'm sorry, but you shouldn't be here. These checkups are supposed to be private. Well, then why didn't you lock the door, Harvey? I'd like to get a second opinion from this young lady. I always forget I'm a woman. What do you think George should do? George, you're George. Okay, George, you're like 98, George, all right? I'm gonna be honest you, with you. At best, you've got another year and a half max. You're already living in God's waiting room, George. You might as well just listen to the doctor's advice. Thanks, chicken. No, no, no worries. I'm, I'm, I'm always one for the sciences, Harvey. You see, George, I'm just trying to help you. I'll do what you say, doctor. Thanks for your help, chicken. I really appreciate it. Today, I'm making baking cookies. I'm gonna put a little bit of rat poison in George's one. Speed up the process a bit. Hey, what do these actually say? The clinic is licensed for medical practice by the Ferngill Republic Health Authority. He's, he's just forged one up and chucked it up there. It's just written in crayon up there. Lewis looked at it. He's like, wow, this is perfect. I'm sure this is completely legal. Didn't this cli clinic violate the Geneva Convention? Oh my God, Harvey did violate the Geneva Convention. So not only is he a false doctor, he's also a war criminal. It's my liver isn't a doctor. I can see it on your face. Harvey, Harvey's like, well, Gus, there's only one way to answer it. We're gonna have to cut out your liver. Don't worry what I'm gonna do with it afterwards. Possibly sell it away. It's a rainy day. Let's go see what he does during the rain. Harvey, my love, I've got hypothermia. Please let me in. Hey, Harvey. So like, I'm Harvey, I have hypothermia. You can't just leave me like that. Is the clinic not open when it's raining? This is so bad. Evelyn's outside having a fucking heart attack and he's like, sorry, can't do anything. There's gray clouds out there. What is he doing? He's listening to his radio. Harvey looks busy right now. You're too busy for pickles? Oh shit, did you say the door just opened by itself? I was just about to write you a letter. You see, my records indicate that you're due for your annual checkup. Oh God, have you ever, have you ever worked on a chicken person before? Now, now, there's no need to worry. It'll be quick and painless. Chicken human anatomy is a bit different, Harvey. Do we know this? I just need to check your vitals. So yeah, there's some healthy looking kidneys. Your pulse is high. I'm out of breath. I'm a little nervous. Are you really a doctor? Are we really sure he's a doctor? Um, okay. If you say so. I feel bad doing it. He's so sad looking. I'm sorry, Harvey. I didn't mean to. It was just a bit. It was for the bit, Harvey. It was for the bit. Well, then you seem very healthy, chicken. Just make sure not to overwork yourself on that farm. Eating a farmer's brunch will give you the nutrition you need to water and harvest crops better. Is Harvey's whole dialogue, he just gives you like nutritional facts the entire time. I'm hoping it gets a little bit deeper. Oh, the girlies are having their little yoga session. Oh, cute. Wait, Pam's there. Oh, I've decided to get back into me exercise. I don't even know how I got here. Harvey's there. Yes. Are you breaking a sweat? <laughs> 
Yes. Emily, I was wondering if you could give me a birth chart reading sometime. Chicken, were you were you watching me? Yes, I was my future male wife. How embarrassing. I didn't want anyone to know. Least of all, you. Hey, you looked good out there, Harvey. I won't lie. I'm just trying to stay healthy. As you get older, it requires more effort. I'm not in very good shape, though. I can hardly keep up with him. You couldn't keep up with the raging alcoholic? <laughs> Don't tell everyone in town that I'm doing dance aerobics, okay? I can't promise that. Listen, it's... <sighs> It's pretty funny. There's nothing wrong with it, Harvey, but it would be pretty funny to tell everyone. We'll keep this little secret. Oh, appreciate that. Oh, I like how he was like, can we keep a secret? But like half the town was there anyway. Wait, you don't think Carolyn's already told Pierre? You don't think like Marnie's told Louis? Oh God, I died? I was trying to clear my farm to get an owl statue and I died. Harvey, someone found you unconscious and battered. I had to perform an emergency surgery on you. Ignore the scar that was around by your kidney. That's, uh, uh, it was important. Be a little more careful next time, okay? Th listen, we don't want to harm any of your organs. Dr. Harvey charged me a thousand G for the hospital visit. Harvey doesn't believe in free healthcare. Just saying that, just putting that out there. And he stole my maple seeds. And my liver? Imagine having a patient's life completely in your hands and failing to keep them alive. That's something that will haunt you forever. Harvey went from make sure to eat your breakfast every morning for good nutritional to I had a patient die in my arms. That was a quick switch up, Harvey. Oh, for God's sakes, I, I didn't think it would hit me. Did you take my spleen this time? Oh, has eight heart been? Hello? Is anyone out there? Hello? All right, apparently he's a 1920s radio broadcaster now. Hello? This is Dr. H at 52 North 43.5 East. Don't give them your location, Harvey. The CIA's probably listening in right now. Copy. Dr. Harvey on the ground. This is Blackbird 505 Azuzu. Anything to report? <gasps> he actually, he, the, he's, the CIA responded to him. Someone's there? Uh, I mean, standard ground report. Wind at three clicks, 36 degrees north of west. Ground temperature at 42 crags. Dr. H, out. Yikes, my pulse is soaring. It's a very interesting portrait, I won't lie. Hey, Harvey, heard you confessing to war crimes. Chicken. Ask Harvey why he's all flustered. You see, it's just on the radio here, and uh, I made contact with a, with a real pilot. God, I hope the FBI wasn't listening in. They might find the 57 hearts I've got stored in my fridge. As a matter of fact, we could probably see him flying overhead now. Quick, get over here. Wow, look at him go! As a kid, my dream was to always be a pilot. With my bad eyesight and a crippling fear of heights, that dream started to fade away. Don't be sad. I've grown to accept my station in life. Not everyone can achieve their dreams. That's just the way the world is. The fuck? That's depressing. Wow. Let me show you my model airplanes. I just finished the new TR Starbird Deluxe set. Oh, <gasps> that's so sick. Model airplanes? Do you think we can play with them? Our male wife has a little bit of a personality. He opened up very quickly about patients dying in his arms. There's no real curve up to it. It was just kind of straight into the deep end. But we learned about his hopes and dreams. We learned about what he wanted to be in life. Harvey, will you be my male wife? I feel the same way. I'm kind of nervous, aren't you? No, I've done this like eight times already. I'd like to stay in St Stardew Valley for a while. I'm finally starting to feel involved in the community. Interesting. So Harvey saw himself as an outsider? I guess that would make sense why you don't really see him like around and stuff as much. It feels good to know that you're useful. <laughs> oh, Harvey. Come be my male wife. You can be useful. You just know Evelyn's tempted to put push George into the icy water. She's in her mind, she's like, I can do it. Just one push, no one would mind, no one would know, and it'd all be over. Oh, <gasps> wait, we can marry him now. At least take me on a date first before we get married. Chicken, I have a surprise for you. Meet me by the railroad tracks. Oh no, he's gonna rip my heart out, isn't he? This is how he gets to you. He gets close to you and then he meets you on the railroad track and then just, <laughs> it's all gone. I'm gonna wake up in an ice bath in a motel somewhere. Hey, Harvey, why do you think no one's ever move that boulder over there. Ah, there you are. Just in time. Here it comes. Oh my god, where did you come from? Marcello's balloon rental is at your service. What? Oh, he just jumped out. I saw an ad in the paper for these balloon rides and I, I knew I had to surprise you with one. Where, do, does this meet health and safety regulations, Harvey? Aren't you afraid of heights? I am. Yeah, uh, but I'm determined to not let that stop me from doing what I want and experiencing this with you. I'll try not to get scared. 
Whoa, we, Jesus Christ. How do we jump that high? Oh, he's covering his eyes. <laughs> Wait, that's really cute. Oh, he's actually so woo woo. Bisexual Sky. Like, I can't make that joke because I've already done it in the past videos. Rehashing content, it's lazy. I'm a, I'm a, tr I'm a trembling coward. You've got more than enough courage to make up for me, chicken. That's, that's part of why I like you. I'm gonna open my eyes and look down. Don't, don't, don't let go of my hand. He's so male wife for real. Oh, he's so scared. This is incredible. I think I can see Mayor Lewis standing in the town square. Yeah, you can see Marnie and Lewis in the bush. He's like, what are they doing? Oh dear, uh, our time's almost up. We've known each other for a while now and I, uh, I would really appreciate it if I could take your spleen and sell it on the back market. Cute! Our time is up half an hour ago. Would better touch down. You're paying for that extra half hour, not me. That's not coming out of my paycheck. Stop by my place if you need a confidential checkup. Harvey! Harvey! What? I thought you were sh Yo, I thought he was a shy boy. Okay. Also, I think all doctor appointments are meant to be confidential, so you're just like telling the town about like everyone else's health problems. Maybe that's his gossip. And he'll just like talk to Gus and he's like, you know, Evelyn's only got four more years to live. Abigail, she got the weird cyst on her back. Biggest thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm starting to feel kind of old. The older you get, the more memories you're burdened with. It can be overwhelming. Are you okay, Harvey? Do you need a hug? I'll think I'll stay younger with you around. And now he's sweet about it. Harvey, where you at? Good thing I came with sunscreen. I wonder if Maru could use some sunscreen on her shoulders. You just said this to your girlfriend? Yeah, that's my ex-wife. And I'm your girlfriend. All right, let's marry him. Harvey, I've been... Uh, I've been thinking and... I want in in the organ harvesting business. No, Harvey, it'll be a 50-50 split. I promise. It'll be... No, no, just let me in. Is that dynamite strapped to his chest? What is that? Do you, like... Are you just not a doctor anymore? Because everyone else gave up their career paths, but the town kind of needs a doctor. Oh, his one's cute. This one's nice. I have to go to the clinic today. Have a nice day, okay? Okay, so he, he doesn't just give up being a doctor, so that's nice. Hi, honey. What are you doing at the clinic? I was visiting you at work, my dear. I forgot to give you your pickles this morning and i thought oh i can't let my male wife go to work without his pickles george is always a little less grumpy in the summer it makes me not want to kill him as much the warm weather softens his bones <laughs> what the f does that mean oh oh it's a saying like hard bones i thought she was being literal wait for the 14 hearts the house needs to be upgraded twice what? The kidney money better be good. Is he gonna ask me if I wanna have a child? I feel like that's where he's gonna go with this. It was so incredibly lonely living by myself in the clinic. I'm much happier now. Oh, you're so sweet. Mate, did I just miss it? Or did, like, Harvey has that, like, tiny bit more depth than Maru had, even though they're both nerds? Am I just being cruel to Maru? He's male wifing it. That's what I love to see. It's but What are you doing? What are you doing? Gonna set the house on fire. A little bit of human flesh. Yeah, a little bit of cat's blood in there too. An eyeball from my last patient. And presto, it's done. Ah, you're right on time, chicken. Let me just set the table. Oh, is he cooking us a dinner? This is so pure. You've been working so hard on the farm. I wanted to make you a special dinner. It's my very own angel hair pasta primavera with clams and real human hair. It tastes like your mustache. Leftover pickle juice slurping it out of his mustache. It tastes heavenly. Heavenly, huh? I'm glad you like it. You deserve the best. So tell me about your day. <laughs> okay, what is he doing? What are, you, what, are you, what, are you, what are you blowing into a straw? What is that? Why is there so many options? Let's just go with I socialized in town. Having no active social life is good for the brain. But remember, I'm always here for you if you need someone to talk to. Phew, I'm stuffed. That was great. I'll take care of the dishes. Oh, he's such a good male wife. Don't feel bad. I like to do nice things for you. It makes me happy. I know I say this a lot, but marrying you was the best thing that ever happened to me. It was very lovely, but now this is kind of ominous. It suddenly got very horror vibes all of a sudden. That was filling. I'm gonna sleep well. No, you're not. I can promise you, Harvey, you're not gonna be sleeping much tonight. Wow, he's really not gonna be sleeping much tonight. Good morning, chicken. I made you a nutritious breakfast. 
A complete breakfast? Oh my god, that looks incredible. Mm. Where did he go? Where does he go on Saturdays? Is he reading in the garden? That's the cutest thing. I actually did not expect him to be this cute. He's got a little bit more depth to him than I expected. And he's actually quite sweet. Chicken, you you mean the world to me. Case in point, man. Case in point. You know what, Harvey? Character development. I don't care that you're not making a doctor's salary. You make up for it because you make me eggs in the morning. Well, will you dance with me at the festival tomorrow? Oh my god. God, he's so woo, dude. Look at that face. He's like a fucking anime girl, dude. Of course I will. Well, actually, I, 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 I won't because um, I need to get a divorce. The harvest business wasn't making as much money as I thought it was going to be. I've got a massive mortgage to pay off here. And let's be honest, you're not making the doctor's salary, are you? I don't want to do it. Don't follow me, Harvey. I don't want to do this, but it's for the bit. It's for the bit, Harvey. I can't forget the bit. Um, don't look at me, Lewis. I don't want to do this one. Hi, Harvey. It's nice to see you here. I can't look at you. Please spare me any more pain. This isn't a very fun bit. <laughs>